In this episode, we take the hunt for forgotten 80s military toys online. So, stick around. Hello, fellow dorks and dorkettes, and welcome to Internauts Go! In this episode, I will be your captain on this journey through the interwebs looking for forgotten 80s military toys. This is a follow-up episode to the Plastic Ghosts episode where I talked about those military toys. And for lack of any miscommunication, I'm just saying anything that has a military theme or motif that was released in the 80s is considered a military toy. So... Things that took a lot of inspiration from G.I. Joe and things that kind of forged their own way into the wild forests of the toy shelves. So if you have time, go check out that episode of Plastic Ghosts because I go over the history and a little bit of factoids about some of these toys. So without further ado, let's get to Plastic Ghost busting. Let's hunt some Plastic Ghosts. I don't know what I'll name it, but I'll throw this intro card up regardless. Anyway, here we go. We are on eBay, and for time-saving purposes, I went ahead and already put in Mattel's Men of Metal. That's a lot of M's. Anyway, let's dive in and look. As you can see from the first listing, 1988 Mattel Men of Metal Mint on Card Action Figure Badge Clip on Army Forces Infantrymen. $44.95. 10% off was $49.95 with $7 shipping. So, let's just take a look at the packaging of this Mint on Card Men of Metal. Hover. Come on. Zoom. There we go. So, there we go. I showed that picture in the episode of how the little dude slips into the badge. Now, here's a nice close-up of the badge. It's an infantryman. Looks like it has a eagle on it. Little red, white, and blue there. Ribbon. And here's the dude. Little buff dude in a vest. Not too shabby. Army Forces infantryman. Men of Metal. Now, here's the back of the packaging. Here we have Marine Strike Force, Army Forces, Naval Forces, Air Force Commandos, Fire Forces, so they had Firemen, SWAT Team, Coast Guard Rescue Unit. There, also available, Armored Fortress tramp Transport Carrying Case holds 14 Men of Metal. So it practically held them all. Now, the one thing this packaging doesn't show are the bad guys, the uh, traitors, I think they called them. That's the bad guy team name, the traitors. So, we have a little file card, if you will, which was par for the course because of what G.I. Joe had done. A lot of toys, not just military, had file cards because of the fantastic job Larry Hama did on Hasbro's file cards for G.I. Joe. So anyway, his name is Bam Bam Briggs. I can't read his first name. Is it Arn? Like Arn Anderson? What is that? Jim. Jim Bam Bam Briggs. Okay, fair enough. At least he has kind of a code name. Let's see what some of the other ones they have to offer. Here's another one for the same price. And this is Strike Grenade. Grenade Man. That should be his code name right there. Grenade Man. So... He is part of the Marine Strike Team. His medal has a parachute, and it says Grenade Man. Looks like he comes with an Uzi, a rifle, and a backpack. Oh, he looks pretty cool. Looks like he has a 
like a floppy jungle hat on again he's buff and is wearing a vest no sleeves for these metal men very cool but the price i think is a little nuts i mean and here's the problem i ran into when trying to do research for these when you put mattel and men together you automatically got e-man for some reason and i see ebay is no better so they are including he-man on this list and that's pretty cool scaled prop rep replica it's very tiny actually if it was full size for that price i'd be jumping on in on it okay vintage mattel thing maker fighting men metal molds a lot of six molds 1965 so that's kind of cool not what we're searching for but that seems like a cool relic from the 60s oh tv trees for so long, I have toiled on trying to make a great list and talk about TV trays because they truly were works of art in the 80s and everyone had at least one. I had a Smurfs one, but we'll get into that in a later date when I finally pulled the trigger on doing the metal tray episode. So we have a vintage button, three inch button from the He-Man Shira power tour very cool but not a lot of metal men here's a dc metal man from the comic metal men oh well, that's cool i haven't seen that from hot wheels i'm not gonna pay six or seventy dollars for it that's for sure but that's pretty cool but we won't look at any close-ups because that is not our quarry for this hunt superman Wow, He-Man miniature metal figure. I'm sorry. I'm going to look at this real quick. I know it's jumping off topic, but I want to know why it looks like he doesn't have legs. Maybe it's half a figure for sale. Maybe that's just how he was molded. We won't know until this loads. There we go. Hmm. Maybe he was supposed to sit in a vehicle. Dude, that is awesome. $20. With $20 shipping? Well, $16 ship, $17 shipping from Canada. That is awesome. Hmm. Hmm. I would add that to my watch list, but I forgot to sign in, and I don't want to go through all that hoopla while you wait. There's a Tila. Dude, that is awesome. A belt buckle? Oh. Speaking my language here. Okay. It looks like we have a smattering of Superman and He-Man. But no metal men. Interesting. Are they the only two on eBay? We will not waste our time to look, but these are the best matches, so you would think that they would have more. Anyway, maybe this is truly a plastic ghost. Hmm, interesting. Might have to ponder that at a later date. But anyway, on to number two on the list, which is General Patch and the Evil Enemy by Galoob. So we will look up Galoob. Oops. Galoob. General Patch. See, we got a couple hits there on the uh, search bar. Okay, looks like we got a couple here. Come on, come on, load. As I've explained before, I like vintage things so much that my computer is vintage too, and it's very slow. Actually, I don't like that, but don't have the funds to upgrade. Get rid of that, because these are what I'm looking for. So here's General Patch himself, G.I. Joe style vintage straight arms. So they did not have the movable arms. 
$34.99 or best offer $5 shipping. So let's take a look up close at General Patch here. I am trying to hover to zoom. Wow, this body style launched a thousand ships, if you will. And I'm not talking about Hasbro. I'm actually talking about Galoob. They had a couple different military figures that used this exact same body with the exact same like quilted chest piece and the faces. And we'll look at a couple more of them in future installments of Plastic Ghosts. But, yeah, I mean, doesn't really come with much. Doesn't look like he comes with any accessories. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we have General Patch Evil Enemy Rare, Vintage Rare Galoob, pre-18, 1982. Very true, very true, pre-18. Doesn't look like he comes with any accessories either, but let's take a look at him. Kind of looks like Planet of the Apes figure, honestly. Good stand-in for Cornelius or something there. You can see definitely they weren't made as well as Hasbro figures. I mean, yes, this figure is very old, but look at the uh, split there in the leg. At least he has a different body style with a turtleneck with his uh, unbuttoned shirt. So he can go out to the club after he's done being an evil enemy. Okay. Okay, here is the gun pen. This was something I saw in my initial search, but I didn't talk about in the episode. But here is a gun pen for General Patch. Oh, come on now. Give me close-ups. Give me a close-up. I'm hovering. Oh, you don't have hover to zoom. Anyway, this looks like it would be a good, like, 12-inch scale gun. 1983, Lewis Galoob, Inc. Oh, what directions do... Oh, it does have enlarge. Awesome. Retractable ballpoint writer. That's pretty awesome. Like I said, it almost looks like it's a 12-inch scale. What are the operation instructions? Because I'm quite curious. Hmm, pull that down. Push forward or backward to proper position. Push up when pen not in use. Push down when pen is in use. Interesting. Hmm. It's a neat little relic. Here we got another evil enemy. Huh. I thought there was only one, but it looks like there's more. This is Dread Mortar Man Action Figure Galoob for $30. Oh, by the way, the pen is only $6 with $6 shipping. Not too shabby. So let's look at this evil enemy. He is Captain Bullcut. I mean, does that really look like the face of an evil enemy? It's like, hey guys, want to play some D&D? I brought my dice. I mean, it's got some nice detailing on the uniform. Very, very similar to Hasbro. Like I said, I wonder if there were like corporate spies at the time smuggling out the blueprints. Here's some weaponry. I remember these rifles so much. Everybody had some of them kicking around in their Joe collection. Always wanted the bazooka, but never had one. Because, I mean, that's an awesome bazooka. That one's pretty cool, too. And very reminiscent of Zap. Hmm. Now, what the heck is this thing? A belt of some sort. Parachute? Because I think they had some parachute troops. Maybe that's what it is, a parachute harness. Here we go, another gun. This one for 40 By the way, 
These guns, you can get them for 960. Here we go. General Patch Anti-Infiltration Patrol Boat. Now, that would be awesome in your Joe collection. I mean, stickers still look pretty good. I mean, you could probably slap... Ooh, it has batteries. What did it do? So it's $40 with $10 shipping. So it comes... Oh, manufactured in Hong Kong. I thought shipping from Hong Kong. Uh, missing several parts, blah, blah, blah. I'm really curious to what electronic features it had. I mean, it's an awesome gun there. I think you could add any type of gun to that, build on it, customize it a little bit. Hmm. The only uh, damage to the stickers here looks like where the peg holes are. Got a little seat here. I ain't hating. That's pretty cool. The price is a little steep, but pretty cool. Whoa, look at this. I have not seen this in my uh, voyages online. 96 American. I mean, that's a pretty cool Jeep for like a solid build. Has this, probably had a big barrel off the side here. But that's not too shabby for, like, a solid piece vehicle. Granted, it looks like it's missing a ton for that price. But, again, that would be pretty cool in your Joe or Cobra motor pool. Just like the patrol boat. So here we got General Patch Soldier. Soldier. G.I. Joe K.O. So, we're only... Selling it for $5, but $27 shipping from the Netherlands. Okay, I get it. But this looks a lot like the A-Team face figure. So this is where Face Man came from. Interesting. Paint's a little, little wonky on that, but that was from Galoob. Oh, look. Interesting. I like the helmet. Was it removable? It looks like it is. I like that with the combat webbing stuff on it. Very World War II looking. Or the Korean War. It has like the, the M60, like like those other rifles, I think every kid in their G.I. Joe collection had this gun. And it was awesome. So, pretty decent figure. See, they say knockoff. Not a knockoff. It's a inspired by. Here's another one, same price from the Netherlands. Here's the bazooka from the Netherlands. $40 shipping for something you could put in an envelope. Why is the shipping more for this than the figure? That is crazy. Helmet, same. Whoa, man. Netherlands blowing this up. Oh, look at the different colored helmets. That's cool. There's the bazooka. Cool looking machine gun. Kind of reminiscent of Major Blood's gun, just longer. There's that M60. Looking gun. More helmets, a hat. Here's the mortar that I was talking about that is exactly like short fuses. How did that happen? Corporate spies. Here we got 1673 free shipping. Let's take a look at this bearded gentleman. Doesn't come with any accessories. Let's zoom, please. There we go. Oh, Toy Planet. Nice to meet you. Very broad-shouldered. And his uh, combat-like suspenders look like they're painted on and not detailed. So that's interesting. And now we're in, hey, uh, original Riker without the facial hair. So 
give me my Riker with a beard, please. And then we jump to, like, Star Trek. How's that work? Oh, here's a big A-Team figure. More weapons. Here's, like, a, a sandbag, equipment bag or something. Straw, whatever that is. Hey. Oh, you think you're getting this Red Hawk statue for $10? Think again. You're getting a... card, I guess. Well, look at this Micro Machine patch. Awesome. I'd put that on a hat. Anyway, it looks like we're done looking at General Patch. Let's move on to the next one, which is Bravo Company from 1989. So we'll look up Bravo Company. 1989. See what we find. Hmm, only 16 results, and we do have one. $14.99, free shipping. Not bad, if you want to add something like that to your collection. Comes with the same M60 looking thing. I have to see if he originally came with that, or if he somehow stumbled upon General Patch's uh, armament. But here's the knee joints, like I mistakenly said it didn't have. Ooh, weird uh, haircut there, homie. But the helmet, in, you know, was molded on. They didn't get any paint applications under there. See, that's why I said these are very reminiscent of the Little Green Army Men, just evolved to a bigger scale. So... Oh, here's another one. Now this is saying Lenard. Maybe Lenard gave way to Small World importing, or vice versa. Probably vice versa. Or maybe it was just another one of their names, Holding Company or something. So we have this dude. He is six dollars, four fifty shipping. No accessories. And let's get a close up zoom in here. Whoa, he looks very surprised. Oh, I'm scared, Sarge! Not too bad of detail on his uniform. I kind of dig how his hands are molded. Like, if you're not going to have posability, at least have it like that so you could have the rifle there. So, I give it props for that. Interesting. I kind of like the detailing on his belt, so I give it points for that. So, all in all, 10 bucks you could get that dude. Oh, here's the dude with the ski mask. Oh, no, this is... Yep, here he is, Bravo Company. This dude trying to be like Snake Eyes. Ooh, you can see how the paint has given way. That's probably one of the worst things about being die cast, is the paint rubbing off. But, can't tell if this is an all-American hero or somebody that's going to rob the 7-Eleven. But, pretty cool. That's weird. I wonder if that scarring is part of production or that happened to it from play. But $14.99, free shipping. Here's another dude, $17.99, free three-day shipping. With extra 5% coupon, nice. Uh, Bravo Company Light Mount Modular Key Mod fits 1930. I don't know what that means. Cool mugs. Nice Batman mugs. And we're on to baseball cards. Oh, a Dino Bravo card. Okay, so there were a couple offerings from Bravo Company, and they're relatively cheap, so nice. If you want to get something like that for your collection. Now, Let's put in Porto Play. Porto 
play. Military one. Military one. Oh, there's the diver. And I'm assuming the flippers are built into him. Because I brought that up in the episode because I wasn't sure. Oh, man. He has seen some action. Look at that face. My man. His life jacket thing has some paint missing. Yeah, those are definitely... Ooh, and scuffed up. Interesting. Dang, it looks like he's missing his nose. Poor dude. He must have dived into a shallow pool. And that's why they say, do not dive in shallow pools. Because you can get your nose ripped off. Poor dude. But $6.99, four seventy dollars shipping. I mean, if you want a noseless dude, there you go. Here is a army raft, $2.99. One bid, two days left. With... 550 shipping. Not bad. Here is the Marine. And I'm I take it back. These are the ones that I said were a scaled up version of the Green Army men. And do you see why I said that? I mean I mean no paint application on the face. I mean nice painting on the belt and Suspenders, the grenades. Looks like he's has a knife detailed. But, oh man, look at them sleeves. Ooh. A little rough. But if you want a true history of military toys at the time, he would be your man to add. I mean fifteen bucks. Here is one for twelve dollars. And we'll take a look at them close up so you can see the difference in the paint. But it's the exact same figure, just with a camo paint job. Still, no detail in the face. His helmet is melting down around his forehead. Not for real, it's just how the painting looks. And here you get two of the frogmen. Uh, zero bids, five days left, $2 shipping, and they're five eighty-five. Hey, as long as they have intact noses, it might not be a bad deal. Flippers aren't as scuffed up. Paint doesn't look as bad around the face. He has his nose. That's actually not a bad deal. Might be something to add. Here's one in the package for only $25 with free shipping. Ready for action. How much did these dudes originally sell for? $2.25, but your price at self-service is $1.47. And they did come with that M60. Look, he's right there. Hmm. Learn something new every day. Seems like that make of gun was far-reaching within many toy lines. Here's the pilot. $5.99 with $4 shipping, so $10. Another frogman. The heck is this dude? Vintage military army soldier figure, size 6 inches. Hmm. Anyway, we've looked at what they had to offer for that. Now to the SOS commandos. SOS. Commandos. Oops, two M's. My bad. Which was built off the back of the Commando movie toys. Excuse me, I need a drink. Anyway, we're starting off with a with a dock. Complete for 300. Yikes. We have Action Man SOS Kit, Sergeant Fury, some comic books, huh, 
much is this Sergeant Slaughter? Bids start at 27. Six days left. Buy it now for 50. Wow, I don't see any SOS commandos here. Barnyard commandos, that's pretty sweet. Ah, uh, the penguins from Batman Returns. Here's some more barnyard commandos. A silly toy line that is actually quite perfect. Anyway, this is a plastic ghost. Except they do have SOS Commandos. Did you mean that? Sure. Let's see what you have. 23 items. Here we go. It's just I did it proper with the um, periods there. So $50. Buy it now from Portugal. So these are from Portugal apparently. So here's this dude. And like I said, it had interesting packaging that was more horizontal, where it displayed the weapons. This dude had a helicopter backpack, which is pretty sweet. Depending on how it went on, which might be, hover, hover to zoom, might be because of this harness, that could fit on your Joes. Weaponry. Handles look a little thick, but might have been used for Joe. And like I said, I don't know if this is the 90s. Oh, I like that base. 90s or 80s, but I included it in the 80s because of its ties to the Commando movie toys that were released in the 80s. So here we go. We have a rare motorcycle, another motorcycle, another motorcycle, another helicopter dude. And that's it. That's all we have. And they're quite pricey with high shipping because they're coming from Portugal, apparently. Hmm. Neat. So anyway, we'll leave it there. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. I mean, I like looking at these things. I like to see what kind of footprint they leave on the world, which we're interpreting that through eBay because this is a nice cross-section of everybody across the world. I mean, we're looking at toys from Portugal here. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you got something to say, please leave a comment. I love reading them, and I love getting back to everybody. And if you're new around here and you enjoyed this, or any of the episodes that YouTube is recommending down there, please hit subscribe. And if you hit that little bell icon, you will be notified whenever there's a new episode. So anyway, until next time, thanks for watching. Keep being rad, and stay dorky!